Good morning everyone, so this morning I am up bright and early and out of the hotel basically. What happened this morning is we arrived at the hotel yesterday and the reason I didn't do a room tour like when we first got there is because as we arrived at the hotel, obviously Anna and Hass were the only people meant to be staying. So the room was booked for two people and then three of us show up. So the plan all along was to just walk in. I give all my bags to Hass so it looked like I didn't have any bags or like I had any luggage to be staying there. And we were just going to say that I obviously was staying in a different hotel and I was just coming around to see what their hotel were like and then Anna turned around to the woman and we're like oh yeah we're all staying here the woman was like no not three and I was like no I'm not staying here and Anna was like oh yeah it, it, he's not staying here and I was like oh my god we just messed that up so bad so then we were so nervous of me getting kicked out of the hotel that we had to sneak me in last night again and then obviously this morning when we woke up we had to sneak me out of the hotel so we've just been doing like Mission, Mission Impossible bullshit I'm now on my own I had to run out when I had chance when there were no one on the reception and now I'm heading to McDonald's to go and wait for them lot to finish packing and check out the hotel. It was stressful. It doesn't seem so stressful, but I've been thinking about it all night and I've had the worst night's sleep ever because of it, so love that for me. I've just been sat in the wrong McDonald's for a good half an hour waiting for them and it turns out they're in a different McDonald's. So apparently there's one right by our hotel and I walked the complete opposite way. So now I'm going back. This morning has been a little bit stressful. I have the worst headache though. Like the actual worst headache and I never get headaches, so <laughs> When in Rome. So it turns out there's literally a McDonald's right on our street. Like this is the street we were staying on and the McDonald's is there and I walked all the way into the main bit of the centre. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> So tired, it's actually a joke. I don't really know why Jess Glynn's playing, not gonna lie, she doesn't really seem that Italian. Also, I ordered a latte, which is not actually a latte. I think milk is spelt latte in Italian because I ordered it and it's literally just a cup of hot milk. And I'm not really a fan of the taste of the milk over here. Sorry, you laughed it for me. Thought I was gonna get a little shot of coffee to wake me up, but apparently not. So the amount of people that come up and offer you selfie sticks or tickets for whatever museum it is. Would you like a selfie? I really don't need a selfie stick. You do. Nor a little bracelet. Just imagine. I your don't need a on portable the phone charger. Your style was good, by the way. I really wish I had a compilation full of every single person ever asking me if I want a selfie stick. I don't know if I give off that vibe, but I can really assure everyone I really don't need one. Not today, anyway. Oh wow, is that Madonna? Got tickets. You got tickets. Skip the line. Skip the line, anyone? Alright, so our little trip away is finally coming to an end. We currently stood right by the hotel waiting for our taxi to arrive. However, we've been studying for like 10 minutes now and he said it was 5 minutes away. So I don't really know where the hell is gone or what the hell's happening. But we need to go to the airport otherwise we're going to miss our flight. Love this for us. Anna! I hope you miss your flight now, bitch. Shut up! Shut up! You're so annoying! Do you know my um, favourite pastime when being with you? Oh. It's where Anastasia King's love. See you, everyone! <laughs> That was <laughs> we'll sell you and get money and then we can pay for a limo to airport. <laughs> Great! Right, we've just arrived at the airport now. We got scammed on the way here. We just literally got a £45 Uber to the airport now, thank the Lord. But on the way, obviously, from the airport originally to the hotel, we paid £45 each, so we definitely did get scammed. However, we're at the airport now. I'm so tired, I'm definitely going to sleep the entire flight. I slept in the car a little bit, but I'm just ready to go to sleep all the way now. I cannot wait to get on this flight. Unfortunately, we've got another two hours to queue in security line. Bye, Anastasia. Happy Monday, Alright, done, man. We got it, you bitch. You know, just to give everyone an oh, inform watch. Shut up. I, I tell you what, I, honestly, you know when, like, you know when you're trying to wind me up with a joke? <laughs> like, you're actually winding me up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys knew why I was pissed. 
If you just spent an hour with Hazel Byron, <laughs> you would know why I get into these moods. These moods, like they're a regular occurrence. <laughs> they are. They're what? You're just stressed. <laughs> yeah, I am stressed. Right. So, anyone want to know why my Instagram's not working? I've got a fuzzy on Instagram. <laughs> 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 Seriously, though, my Instagram has broken. Same. <laughs> We just landed at Gatwick now. I got woke up by the lovely woman on the plane. I was fuming that she woke me up. Oh my god! I, I literally would just asleep, and then I had, I felt so on top of me. And in my dream, I knew it was a woman. I could like picture the woman poking me, and she woke me up. Why did she wake me up that early as well? She woke me up like a good um, half an hour before we landed. Yeah. Half an hour before we landed, sis. I was having a beauty sleep. Anyway, we've landed now. We're all back. The flight went really quick. Well, it felt like it went really quick. Cause I um, were asleep the entire time, so love that for me. I'm still so so tired though. The next part of the journey, really? Yeah. I thought it went really fast. And I felt so ill as well. I worked on the way there, so I don't want to. All right, well, basically, Anna's just the better of all of us, and I'm a piece of shit. I think that's what we found out this holiday that Anna is superior, and we oh, might as well just not even exist. You know, I might delete my channel when I get back. I don't exist. The next part of this is what I hate the most because the passport machine never recognizes my face, which I'm glad about because I literally look like Sideshow Bob in my passport photo. But um, it means I have to queue in a long ass queue. And then the woman asking me where I've been, what I've done, and I honestly do not know where I've been for the past 24 hours, so I often look like I'm smuggling some sort of children into the country. However, can I show you? I'm not. Oh my god, it smells like Palmer Violets. Anyway, let's do this shit, bitch. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Dance moms. Alright, so we've just got back home. As you can see, I am now in my bedroom. Um, I don't really know what we're going to be doing for the rest of the day. I don't know what this video is going to be or where it's going to be posted. However, I do know that one thing I realised is I basically, when we like had meals and stuff, Has and Anna both had euros in cash. And I was just using my card everywhere because I'm pretty sure NatWest doesn't really have like a big conversion charge or like one at all. I remember seeing something about it not long ago and thinking, wow, it, like, I think it's cities in Europe don't have one. I may be wrong. Those of you on NatWest watching, let me know in the comments below I'm not sure I don't feel like I've been charged a service fee however um, when we had to pay for things that they couldn't split the charge with I paid for it on my card so we just worked out like how much everyone owes me and stuff and when we were there changed some euros I basically paid like 73 pounds and got 60 euros which works out at like for one pounds 49 you get one euro like that is ridiculous I remember when you used to go to places like Spain and stuff when I were younger I don't know how old you are watching this but when I were younger anyway I remember going to Spain with my family and stuff and it being so much cheaper like literally like maybe 40% of the cost of a pound and now it's like flipped the other way around and the euro is so expensive to us so we spent so much this week or so much these past 24 hours it is actually ridiculous we went into a restaurant earlier and obviously I didn't really want to say this but we have been scammed a few times in Rome didn't really want to say it when I were there and whilst I were around people from Rome because I didn't want to offend anyone but we went the first day we got there obviously you will have seen we um, basically paid 40 pounds 45 euros each for an Uber ride that were literally like 20 minutes and then we got the exact same uber ride on the way back which i noticed in the uber ride on the way back there were a sign that said don't get in black vans they are illegal and guess what we got in a black van so we definitely did get scammed we also got scammed at our restaurant we went to a restaurant and paid 25 euros each for a hamburger and fries and the hamburger with the most generic hamburger i've ever tasted in my entire life so that works out really well because that works out at like 27 pounds i've actually never ever in my life spent more money on one single meal like ever anywhere and I've been to like Duck and Waffle which is like the top of a building in London like super super fancy still didn't pay that and all it was is a hamburger and some fries Rome is beautiful I just wish it weren't so expensive and like because I'm used to the euro being cheaper and working out more cost effective for us British people um, I'm kind of just sat here like wow kind of can't spend any money ever again because I'm now bankrupt yeah.